again in in this sport but it's very very small margins i mean um from the the first place to the tenth um place sled it could be a tenth of a second a hundredth per sled or um, the top three could be separated by two hundredths and, you know, eight hundredths for the remainder from one to 20 could be separated by, you know, four tenths of a second. So the, the, the margins are that small and the, the, the differences that, you know, one single um, a bit of a rubber in your sled could make. Um, over 1400 meters could be that one or two hundredth second to dampen the the the, the vibrations or um, you know if somebody on the opposite side if somebody slips on the start and you start 500 slower so many different things that can happen go wrong and go right and they all tie so the 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 the, the margins are just so so small So the obstacles we face, especially as a, as, a, as, a, as a British team, is that we don't have any tracks, only actual ice tracks. You know, we have a, a push start facility which we can use, but, you know, compared to the, a lot of the European teams, um, we, we, we don't have a track to train on. So by the time we are allowed, because they can um, obviously dictate when, you know, there's free time for us to train, um, they've already done two or three hundred runs of practice down the track and that's not just learning the track that's testing the equipment out that they've um, you know developed that year and seeing which is fastest and actually by the time we get to doing that it's racing time so we're testing equipment during you know a, a race week which isn't ideal these guys have already selected they know what equipment works best in minus 10 eyes, um, you know, minus one eyes, uh, you know, different tracks. So they, it, it, it's easy. All you have to do is get out and, and, and race. So the challenges we face is that we haven't got an ice track and it's real tough. Top speed that I've achieved whilst racing um, is 156 kilometers an hour, which is 97 point five, if I'm not mistaken, uh, miles an hour on the track. And I, I achieved that in 2017. Um, and I became the fastest person ever um, in a bobsleigh. Um, so we, we broke that speed record. Prior to that, it was 155.2. Um, so we, we, we actually went a kilometre an hour faster than anyone had ever been. And on the road to doing that, we broke the that particular track record. Um, and uh, gained a World Cup silver medal at the same time. I started this sport um, in 2007 and I was uh, 185 centimetres. I'm 183 now. Believe it, yeah, it's the truth. Uh, so Bob says made me shorter, yeah, 100%. It's not good. And also um, on the, the, the Gs, there's two sort of prominent corners around the world, and one of them is the Horseshoe Corner in um, somewhere in Switzerland, where you know, as a pilot, you see it. There's a long straight, and you see it coming, and you just tense your whole body up because there's no way of sort of fighting the the, the G's because you, you're going in at eight at 80 miles an hour, and you're coming out at, <laughs> at at 82 miles an hour. You know, so it's just high speed change direction and the other one is um, um, Altenburg in Germany where you do a 360 but the the run into it is huge so you go down a huge straight into a 360 and it's like hitting a brick wall 